All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So in this one, I wanted to really talk about a report that came out from Zach Rosenblatt, which is that Braylon Allen not only just looks impressive, he's turning heads. The coaches really have been liking what they've been seeing, but he is the clear favorite uh, to win the RB2 job, right? It's his job to lose, in other words. And Braylon Allen, right? And look, you can make the argument this was expected fourth round pick, uh, Coming out of Wisconsin, where he was highly productive in the three years, he had back-to-back -back seasons, over 1,000 rushing yards on the ground. In fact, uh, he had 12, over 1,200 rushing yards his first season, over 1,200 his second year. And then in year three, which was 2023 last year, they brought in a brand new head coach, right? They went from Paul Chris to Luke Fickle. And to be honest, the offense complete, the offensive structure scheme, it completely changed, right? It went from old school uh, pro style, ground and pound, right? Big, big emphasis on running the football, really taking the air out of the football, uh, playing that good defense as well, to wide open, spread out. And, you know, this is what Wisconsin is going to be doing from here on out. So, arguably, it, it wasn't Allen's best offensive fit in that third year at Wisconsin, but he was still highly productive where he had over 960 rushing yards. Uh, we can talk about, you know, of course him as that 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 bell cow back in college but you take a look at him from a physical standpoint six foot two 235 pounds he is a bowling ball out there uh just so 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 tough to bring down trucks people over um i mean we've all seen the pictures of him working out the guy's just absolutely i mean he's built um the the dude's a tank whether you like him don't like him you like the badgers you don't like the badgers you have to admit braylon allen uh from a physical standpoint is really really impressive uh we can also talk about his age as well 20 years old he was uh, actually the youngest player drafted in this entire class so if you're talking about tread on the tires if you're talking about you know position that falls off pretty quickly a position that gms don't typically hand out big contracts too you know to have a guy like this coming in at 20 years old with again everything that we've talked about the physical uh attributes the college experience the college production how he translates well and now we're factoring on top of this that he's making a ton of plays he's he's the rb2 at this point in time over izzy abadakanda who's a draft pick last year and of course isaiah davis who was picked later but still, when you get to camp, it, it, draft position doesn't really matter all that much. We're not talking about a, a, a top five pick battling it out with you know a seventh round pick here. These are two mid round guys. So if Isaiah Davis was the clear favorite, that's what would have been reported. And by the way, it's not to say that Isaiah Davis has looked bad or anything. He's actually really, really impressed as well. In fact, he's the RB3 at this point in time. And it's kind of Tariq Cohen and Izzy as that fourth uh, fourth spot, as well as X Valade, right? He's also in that mix. Uh, but we're talking about Braylon Allen is, as far as the running back position goes. He's checking all the boxes, right? He's doing everything that he's as, as advertised, in other words. One thing, though, that was really notable, in my opinion, is that Braylon Allen looks like an, or so far, has looked like an absolute beast with catching the football out of the backfield. That's been an area of concern with Izzy, right? Obviously, Brees Hall isn't, like, he can do so much, but you don't want to, you know, be drafting three running backs in two years and then just rolling Brees out there 95% of the time. It's just, you know, not, not a smart thing to do. Although I have full confidence in Brees and his abilities, you know, physically, you know, he can handle a, a massive workload. I, I truly believe he is a top five running back in football. Um, with Braylon Allen, right, if he could come onto the scene, not only just as a running back too, not only just as somebody who can take some of the pressure off Brees in the, in the running game, but also as a pass catcher, that is freaking huge. I mean, think about how many running backs we've seen throughout the years that are one-dimensional, right? When they're on the field, everybody knows they're either going to hand the football off or they're going to be throwing the football. Um, certain guys are better in pass protection than others. But if Braylon Allen can continue to impress, continue to turn heads, I think preseason is going to be massive for him running behind 
you know, the second string offensive line, I would assume in preseason, because, you know, I, I really don't think that Tyron Smith and Morgan Moses and, you know, these veterans, especially the guys that are coming back from injury, should be out there playing in preseason. But it, it's going to be huge for Allen, right? How does he look against NFL competition so far against the Jets defense? He's looked really, really good. And that is super, <laughs> that, that just fires me up, right? If the Jets could have two backs in their early 20s, one of which is 20, take the NFL by storm. Brees has already done it, but if we could add another to the mix, just another guy to take some of the pressure off of Aaron Rodgers, we're going to be in a great, great, great spot. So anyway, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, go Jets.